Hey, welcome everybody back to another episode of Ant on Music. I, of course, am your host, Ant. And uh, don't adjust your screens just yet. It's not unusual that I'm wearing a football jersey. Well, actually it is. Uh, but there's an explanation for it, okay? So if anybody knows what this is, this is a Philadelphia Soul football jersey. Not a Philly guy, not at all. This is an old uh, XFL team, I believe, or USFL team. To me, it didn't matter uh, because the soul was owned by John Bon Jovi. He was one of the main owners of them. And the reason I'm wearing this jersey, uh, basically the first full weekend of summer, uh, is because of a minor disappointment. All right, And that is with our first album that we're going to look at. But before we go to that, Please, please, please drop a comment. Be nice. Uh, click like. Uh, share it with your friends. And most importantly, if you haven't done so already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It makes me also happy to have so many more people join me here in my ant colony, right? Uh, so let's get to it. A little disappointed. Not in the new album. New album's actually pretty damn good. You know, it was a little... Uh, little, you know, concern. The past couple of albums, I really haven't dug all that much. You know, I'm an old school Bon Jovi fan from back when they were the kings of hair metal. Uh, you know, they really do have their roots in the uh, the Jersey bar scene. If you haven't had uh, a chance to see the uh, Netflix, not Netflix, Hulu documentary uh, on them, uh, check it out on Hulu. It really is good. And it really convinced me to purchase the new album. I've been away from them for a while because I've picked up the past couple of ones and kind of like, eh, you know, they're not that fantastic. Uh, this, I mean, hey, it's not New Jersey. All right. It's certainly not Slippery When Wet, but it's not a bad album either. It's pretty darn good. Uh, if you've seen the documentary, you'll know that um, John has had some serious throat issues and, you know, we're not talking like Vince Neil type issues, right? He just can't sing at this point. John had some legit problems with his vocal cords from you know really pushing them to 110 percent night after night after night for decades on tour uh and you know as he got older he paid the price uh they're not going to tour from this album john says he's not ready to do that uh but the album itself is pretty good uh it kicks off with the lead single legendary which i like uh we made it look easy which is a look back on the history of the band um living proof waves seeds kiss the bride which will become a wedding song to uh, reckon with all the others that are out there. It really is a fantastic track. Um, you have The People's House, you know, talking about American politics. John Bon Jovi, second album in a row, getting politically conscious. Um, the Walls of Jericho, I wrote you a song. Living in Paradise, and it closes out with my first guitar and Hollow Man, two excellent tracks. Uh, basically, John looking back on life. I mean, he's not a kid anymore, and, um, you know, he wants to have that legacy where, you know, Bon Jovi is forever. You know, the appropriately titled album. Uh, so let's take a look at the album itself. We have lyrics and liner notes here. All right. Unfortunately, no Richie Sambora still. You know, he's out doing his own thing. It doesn't look like they're going to get back together anytime soon. So let's uh, take a look at the album itself. This was a limited edition uh, version that was purchased through his website. It's a pretty cool coke bottle green with like white splatter on it i guess they think they were calling it ocean so you have that and it's on island records you can check that out very cool i dig it um so the disappointment right you like the tracks you like the way the on look the artwork's fine all right this was the disappointment and i didn't purchase it for this so it'll explain why i have the jersey on um it says right here on the hype sticker signed insert is there an insert? Oh yeah, there's an insert. There's the back of it. Look at the size of the thing. It's smaller than the CD wallet. Look at that. And it's only John's signature. I mean, cool, I get it. You know, if you're talking about this being the band, have the other guys on the band side. Tico and Dave, at least, they've been with the band forever. All right, so that's my one minor disappointment. And that's why I wore this. Uh, this is my uh, John Bon Jovi Philly Soul football jersey signed by Richie, John, Dave, and Tico. Uh, Alex was uh, already a non-issue at that point. May he rest in peace. 
Uh, and so that covers the new Bon Jovi album. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Certainly a cool album. All right, so I did some uh, did some stuff via mail. I arrived. Uh, actually went some went to you know one of my local shops. Went and checked out. Uh, I was over in Poughkeepsie this week, so I went to Dark Side Records, and uh, I did a little digging over there. Uh, shout out to the guys and gals over at Dark Side. They always have some great product. Um, but what did I get? Well, this was through the mail. I had ordered this. I have the box set of the demos. This is the demos just for the 1987 year, the year that basically they got signed. And it's a limited edition, only to 450 made, enough's enough, uh, the 1987 demos. And it's really cool. You know, this is, the, this is what got them their deal. Um, you have on here, side A, New Thing, She Wants More, Fly High Michelle. I mean, three great tracks all in a row. Hot Little Summer Girl, another classic track from, from Enough's Enough. In the Groove, Little Indian Angel. For now, Kiss the Clown, top-notch uh, track from, uh, you know, the brothers of Chip and Donnie, who are no longer brothers anymore. Um, I Can Never Be Without You and Finger on the Trigger. Also found out this week that um, Donnie Vi, all right, Donnie V, uh, spelled V-I-E, pronounced V-E-E, -E, uh, Donnie, his catalog is coming to vinyl. He says all of it which will be fantastic. I would love to have Donnie stuff. He is the self-proclaimed king of power pop, and I'm not going to fight him about it. I give him all the credit in the world. He is the voice of Enough's Enough, and uh, always fantastic, uh, fantastic live. So we'll take a look at this. You know, you've got some, a uh, little bit about what was going on as far as the recording process goes on this side, and then you've got the uh, simple liner notes on the back. All right, and... It's a funky looking pink vinyl. You know, if, you, if you're Enough's Enough collector, you know that there's a lot of colored vinyl out there. And one day I'm going to torch you all and show you my entire Enough's Enough collection, which is, I think, predominantly colored and not just plain black. Uh, and as I always implore, when in God's name are they going to put strength out on vinyl? Again, all right? It's time. It's the only one that's not out there. And they need to put the latest one out on vinyl as well. Um, finer than sin uh so enough's enough 1987 demos good stuff uh you know if you dig them you'll dig this check it out all right moving right along all right this was one you always hear me say this record store release this is not a record store release day release it was supposed to be then it disappeared you know went in to pick it up i think it was a black friday record store day release went out you know, went out digging, right? Was looking for something else. And what caught my eye in the bins over at Darkside? Well, this. Somehow it popped out this year. Uh, this is LA Guns Live at the Orpheum. Uh, and this is from 89, I believe. Uh, this is another limited edition. Only 500 made. Uh, and this is the lineup of uh, Mick Cripps, Phil Lewis, Tracy Guns, Kelly Nichols, and rest in peace, Mr. Steve Riley. Yeah, this is up at the Orpheum Theater. Uh, November 4th of 89, all right? Uh, and I had the pleasure, I think I talked about it in an earlier episode, of introducing L.A. Guns at Lemoore's in Brooklyn back in the day. And that was, I believe, 90, 91. Uh, it was certainly uh, after Cocked and Loaded came out as well. Uh, this has tracks, you know, from, from that time period. Uh, it's got Kiss My Love Goodbye, Wild Obsession, Dirty Love, Slap in the Face, um, Electric Gypsy, Rip and Tear, Never Enough, Sex Action, The Bitch is Back, One More Reason, and Rock Candy. And if you're a fan of L.A. Guns, you're definitely going to dig this album. Uh, you got a picture of the boys in the band there. And then a little talk about the night on the tour. Uh, and I mean, it, this is a typical set from L.A. Guns from this time period. Really well done. And what do they have this listed as? Uh, red Marbled. All right, so it's a Red Marbled vinyl. Uh, check that out there. You know, they were always a killer live act out on the circuit. And uh, I was fortunate enough to see them a few times. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen them. Uh, but definitely a kick-ass band to check out live if you ever see them rolling around. Especially uh, the current lineup with Phil Lewis on vocals. Uh, and Mr. Tracy Gunn on guitars. Uh, so have that L.A. Guns live at the Orpheum Theater up in Boston, Massachusetts. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get into a little bit of classic rock. Um, and we got a box set to look at. Yes, a box set. It's been a week or two since we looked at one. Ha 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 ha. All right, so what do we have first? All right, first thing we have, okay. Uh, really happy to have this in my collection. This is Paul McCartney and Wings, one hand clapping. All right, and this was uh, basically like demos from back in the day um, when uh, they were, you know, newly mixing stuff and you know, it, it had stuff that ended up appearing on later albums. Um, you have, it, it's a great track listing. It's basically the band, you know, basically playing like a live concert for themselves in a lot of ways. It's them, them warming up. Uh, you have the title track, then you have one of my favorites, Jet, uh, Soily, Sea Moon, Little Woman Love, my absolute favorite track from uh, Paul McCartney uh, and Wings, Maybe I'm Amazed. Actually, even really dig the uh, the Rod Stewart and the Faces version of that. It's it's amazing. If you've never heard it, go look it up. Find it here on YouTube. It's here. Awesome. Um, my Love, another great track. Uh, then you have Bluebird, okay, another classic McCartney track, Let's Love, All of You. I'll give you a ring. Band on the Run. Can't go bad with Band on the Run. Um, another favorite track. First track that I really remember as a kid listening to from McCartney, Live and Let Die. Uh, 1985, Babyface. Uh, Let Me Roll It. Great track from, uh, from Wings there. Blue Moon of Kentucky, Power Cut, Love My Baby. Uh, Let It Be. The Long and Winding Road and Lady Madonna uh, together. Uh, great Great little medley there. Uh, Junior's Farm, Sally G, Tomorrow, Go Now, Wildlife, and High, High, High. And, you know, this came in various configurations. I bought this one right from uh, Paul's website for a very simple reason, okay? You know, it comes, it's a two-album set. I'm only going to show you one because one's on the turntable. It's the last thing I was listening to before I uh, decided to get up and do this. Uh, basic black vinyl, you know. Nothing spectacular. It is 180 grand, you know, as as is the standard nowadays. Comes with um, this little flyer. You get a picture of the band and information regarding the recording of one hand clapping, uh, as well as another look at the album cover there. Um, and this is the this is what separates the stuff. And no, the the interior. Of this is just. A funky green that goes along with the green that's here on the hype sticker um the reason i purchased this through mccartney's website as opposed to going somewhere else was for this reason and this reason alone it comes with a bonus 45 uh that has additional tracks that aren't here they're called the backyard sessions uh and it has blackpool blackbird country dreamer i'm too tired to rock and peggy sue i'm gonna love you too all right and uh it says here recorded the backyard and it's neat you know i love acoustic music you know i love to hear you know basically either artists tear things back to acoustic or whether they rework a song to just be acoustic and uh, this is you know these are the the roots the roots of this album um you know and roots of wings material that had uh you know had yet to come out Excellent, excellent album. Really is top notch. Sounds fantastic. Doesn't sound like demos. It, it sounds like it's one step away from being released. Uh, and really, fantastic, uh, fantastic album to have in my collection. Uh, you know, I'm a big, big Paul McCartney fan, like many people are. It's like, how can you not love the Beatles? What's wrong with you if you don't? Um, so that was that. All right. So, Paul McCartney, one hand clapping, track listing right there. Sorry for the glare. Um, now one more, well actually a CD and then uh, another album, and uh, then a box set, which is really cool. So uh, my good buddy Goose, Goose, what's up, baby? Uh, he dragged me out of the house. Uh, he, he got me hooked on this local band. All right, they are a local band made well. Uh, John Galgano and Company, Miss Laura Mead. Uh, uh, you know, congratulations on the new album. I was very fortunate because my buddy dragged me out uh to drag me out it's like i'm you know it's like i just never have time to do anything my my house and life is lunacy um and he dragged me out to see soon to be local legends is one of the best progressive rock bands to come out of the united states period all right if you haven't heard them their new album just came out it's called collapse the wave um you know 
There's the boys and girls in the band. All right. Galgano Brothers doing their best to keep prog music alive here in the U.S. And uh, this is a great album. You know, it's like I got to see it live before I got to hear it, which was cool. You know, some of the tracks. And even cooler, one of the things, this is autograph number two for the week. Mr. John Galgano himself. Thank you, John. Pleasure to finally meet you live and in the flesh and uh, to hear you rock out on the bass guitar and keys and acoustic guitar. It's just awesome. Um, so Collapse Wave, We Are the Third, great song. So Many Voices, Brace for Impact, another strong track. Deep Inside, Collapse the Wave, Sometimes Sublime, uh, There's Hope, great tune. Uh, Brethren, Not About Me, Soak Up the Sunlight, and We Will Go. If you've never heard of them, all right, check them out. Uh, I was really super thrilled to see them live and definitely won't be my last show seeing them, uh, especially considering they, they seem to play New York pretty regularly. I'm, I'm definitely going to check them out again, as long as my buddy Goose is willing to drag me out. Um, the other thing I picked up when I got to see Is Live, aside from their new album, was this album. This album got pleasantly reviewed in Prague Magazine a couple of years back. And uh, it is from the lead vocalist, or lead female vocalist, I should say, of, uh, of Is. And that is the lovely Miss Laura Mead. She is, as the album title says, the most dangerous woman in the world. And, uh, you know, she's got a, a completely stunning voice. She was very sweet. She signed my album for me. Uh, thank you so much for that. If you're wondering, all right, the blonde's there. Where did she go on Is? Well, she dyed her hair back. She's now a brunette again. So there you have it. Uh, so this album, really good. Great, just chill music to listen to. On the Shores of the Seine, Leaving, Burned at the Stake, Iconoclast. Uh, End of the Road in Hollywood, Doesn't Change a Thing. Title track, Most Dangerous Woman in the World, love it. The Shape of Shock, Forgive Me and Tell Me Love. Um, and with this one, take a look. Got an insert here with the lyrics and liner notes there and you nope know, the album is just you know your basic standard black it's heavyweight vinyl it's a very nice recording sounds fantastic her voice is absolutely just a, a phenomenally gorgeous instrument um you know if you just did great vocals alone it doesn't have to be prog it doesn't have to be standards it could be anything to put it mildly laurel sing the shit out of it you know it's like uh, she's got a phenomenal voice totally totally love her voice uh, so this was one. Got a great review in Prague a couple years back. Got, glad I got to get a hold of this. So, the moment we've been waiting for. That's right. What do we have as far as a box set goes? And I know my buddy Daz across the, uh, across the pond there. Uh, he has been looking forward to me talking about this. This is the David Bowie Rock and Roll Star box set. I also have the album on order. That hasn't come yet. So we'll take a look at this. This, Rock and Roll Star, this is the making of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. I mean, talk about one of the most amazing albums in the history of rock and roll. This is the roots of that. This is the demos. This is what you want. Um, and you gotta like the back cover. I can make a transformation as a rock and roll star. Well, damn, sir, you certainly did. And the world was never the same afterward. The, you know, Rock and Roll's original chameleon. Right? This is a gorgeous box set. So before we get into the book, we have the start of the symbol, all right, right there. That ended up becoming the face paint for Aladdin and Sane. You have David's student notebook. This is obviously a replication because, you know, he didn't make, you know, 10,000 of these. Uh, with his, you know, replication of his handwritten notes regarding the uh, the album itself or what would become the album known as Ziggy Stardust. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty cool. And then you have the box itself. The box itself is really neat. It follows along as far as the dimensions go of conversation piece. Um, you know, I, I love David. Always been a big fan. Uh, got a clear view of the foil picture. That's the encasement box. And then you have the back. Uh, and this has all sorts of good stuff in it. So you have this little uh, anniversary distance of 50 years of Ziggy Stardust. There's a book that you can purchase, right? A little advertisement for the Bowie book. Uh, it is not cheap. I may end up getting it, but it is not cheap. Uh, you've got 
all the discs here. All right, take a look at each of those. All right, disc one. Just so you can see the pictures of David. Woohoo! Come on. Two. And we'll flip over to the back. We'll just show you the, the four of them back here. Right there in their rear slots at the back of the book. Take a look at a couple of the uh, photos in here. You know, this is from the, the shoot that became the album cover. Take a look at that. Um, here's an advertisement. You know, and this goes along with, uh, like I said, the Rock and Roll Star album and the uh, Waiting in the Sky album, which was a Record Store Day release, which, as you know, took me a long time to get a hold of, but I tracked it down, so it was definitely worth it. Uh, and let's talk about the track listing on this. Man, uh, this is fantastic. It's a uh, five CD, one Blu-ray set. Um, and it's got Blu-ray audio, got the rise and fall of, of Ziggy Stardust and the Spider from Mars, the original album mix. You also have the uh, 2003 mix of the same album on here. Uh, Waiting, in the, Waiting in the Sky, all right, which is the, uh, the album that came out for a record store, uh, RSD Day. All right, so you have that as well. Uh, and outtakes and alternative versions and then basically have like tons of stuff on here um you know demo tracks for everything like hang on to yourself lady stardust ziggy stardust star aka stars soul love starman um demo one and two moon age daydream hang on to yourself uh also got uh sounds of the 70s john peel sessions ziggy stardust queen bitch waiting for the man lady stardust sounds of the 70s with bob harris uh, hang on to yourself, Ziggy Stardust, Queen Bitch, Waiting for the Man, The Old Grey Whistle Test. You know, these are all uh, radio and TV shows over in England. Uh, with that, you have Oh You Pretty Things, Queen Bitch in Five Years, More John Peel, uh, then you got Johnny Walker, Lunchtime Show, Starman, Space Oddity Changes, Oh You Pretty Things, Bob Harris again, Sound of the 70s, A Different Date, Andy Warhol, Lady Stardust, White Light, White Heat, and Rock and Roll Suicide, tops of the pops so just like a ton of, of great live stuff um other stuff as far as uh you know different sessions for the album but basically everything that went together to become what we know as ziggy stardust and the spiders from mars one of the most seminal albums in the history of rock and roll uh you know it that was probably the album that launched a, a billion glam bands uh and you know obviously a big influence for for me i love bowie uh as long as they're putting out stuff for his i'll continue to purchase it uh especially can putting it out in the physical media thank you very much um so that is everything i have for you this week i thank you for stopping by i thank you for checking out the channel um uh, thankful for all the comments you know all the comments are great uh all the likes you know like to see more likes like to see more comments you know, especially positive ones let's talk about the good stuff you know uh let's talk about what you'd like to see me do a show on uh you know and if it's something i'm into yeah man i'm, I'm all down for it um and thank you for uh you know for showing up you know just fantastic you know great stuff uh good to have you here thank you so much for checking out the channel so as i always say Peace, one love, and music for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am out. Peace.